Are you just gonna look at mama? Or are you gonna look at them? Hi guys, so Miss Adeline is six weeks old now and she's actually a little bit over six weeks old but I wanted to get this video done. She's starting to get tired so she might fall asleep halfway through this video but I wanted to get her while she was awake so she could say hi, say hi. She's like now. So Miss Adeline is six weeks old now and she is absolutely massive. I don't know if you can like tell. I feel like she's huge though. I just weighed her a minute ago and she is almost 12 pounds. She was weighing in at 11 pounds, 13 ounces. So she is just absolutely huge. She is in size one diapers now and she is in zero to three clothes. Although I must say we put an outfit on her yesterday that was zero to three and we can pretty much tell that she's not going to be able to wear it again. It's weird because it seems like she was in newborn size like for a long time and then as soon as she got into the zero to three sizes, it seems like she's going to be growing out of them in like the next couple weeks. She is such extremely, extremely easygoing, happy baby. She smiles all the time, and a lot of the time she'll be she'll be like nursing and like mid nursing. She'll stop and just look up at me and smile. It's the cutest thing in the world. So she's just so happy, so smiley. Although she's gonna start fussing now. She'll pretty much sleep anywhere, and she is a fantastic sleeper. She has slept through the night several times, which is insane to me because none of my other kids have ever slept through the night, um, especially this early. Most of the time she'll go down around 10 p.m., sometimes a little bit later. We'll try to keep her up until like we're getting in bed. And then she she will either sleep completely through the night until around like seven or eight, or she'll wake up one time to nurse. If she wakes up, she'll usually wake up around like 5 a.m. and want to nurse and then just fall right back asleep. And then sometimes she'll wake up again around like eight, um, but most of the time she wants to sleep in the bed until like 10 a.m. and then she wants to get up. So she's definitely like her mama. She likes to stay up late and sleep in, although I never, I don't remember the last time that I actually got to really sleep in. She's obviously still nursing. She's doing a fantastic job. She has been a pro since day one. She doesn't eat a whole lot though, I've noticed. She kind of just likes to snack here and there. She doesn't really comfort nurse too much, but she does like comfort mommy time. I don't know if that makes sense. Pretty much she just knows who her mom is. If Chris holds her or anybody else holds her, sometimes she'll start fussing around and then the second she's in my arm, she'll just stop. So she doesn't really want to nurse per se, but she just wants to like be with her mama. She's definitely a mama's girl and Chris gets so mad because he'll be holding her, trying to play with her and she'll just fuss and whine and fuss and whine until she's in my arms. She absolutely loves tummy time. She sleeps on her tummy like I said before and she does sleep in our bed. I don't know if I mentioned that but she's very very much a co-sleeper. She sleeps in our bed and she'll sleep other places like she will sleep in the car once in a while although she hates hates, hates being in her car seat. And she will sleep in her swing, but she definitely doesn't like rely on any other form of sleeping except sleeping on her tummy. Anytime she's like ready to go, like to sleep to sleep, like for the night, she has to sleep on her tummy in mommy's bed and that's it. And she won't fall asleep anywhere else unless it's maybe like in my arms or something. But for the most part, she just likes to sleep in my bed or like in somebody's arms, but she's just not super picky. She doesn't really care too much. There's like a lot of my babies were so particular. Like they had to have it this way, this way, and this way. And that was all that they would do. And she's just so easygoing. She likes the pacifier, but she doesn't have to have the pacifier. Pacifier. She likes the swing, but she doesn't have to have the swing. She's just not super like picky, which I'm definitely not complaining about. The only things with her is that, like I mentioned before, she hates the car and she loves to sleep on her tummy. But other than that, she's just like so super easygoing and so super happy all the time. And you're a chunkle monk. Can you say hi. Oh, make up. <laughs> I got her a bumbo seat this last week and she loves that. And then for Christmas from Santa, she got one of those like play mats and she loves just sitting there like looking at the toys and she can't really grab at them yet, but she likes to just like sit there and look up at them and sometimes she'll lay on her tummy. And she actually rolled over from her tummy to her back at five weeks old. And ever since then, she does it all the time. She'll just be laying on her tummy, playing away, and she'll kick her feet like she's doing right now. Kick, kick, kick. And she'll roll herself right over. She hasn't rolled over from her back to her tummy yet. Are you talking? 
but I'm pretty sure that's not till a little bit later. She, she's starting to coo a little bit, as you can tell right now, but she doesn't coo a whole lot, just a little bit when she's like, mostly when she's starting to get like worked up and she like wants something, she'll be like, ah, and like, tell me how you really feel. She rarely fusses, again, that just goes hand in hand with being a happy baby, um, unless she's tired or hungry. That's pretty much the only time you'll ever hear her cry is when she's tired or hungry. She doesn't fuss a whole lot. And her head control, as you can tell, is getting a lot better. She does tummy time, the time that you would think she'd be lifting her head. She just kind of lays there. So she doesn't lift her head a whole lot when she's on her tummy. But when she's like sitting up and stuff or like we're holding her, she's farting on me. But when she's like sitting up like in her bumbo or if I'm holding her, talking to her, um, she, her head control is starting to get a lot more like steady. As for her, I mean, I think that's kind of pretty much it. There's not really too much to like... Say. She's just really easy, really happy. She's a chunk of monk, and that's pretty much it. A lot of people have been asking me if I'm going to get her ears pierced because I did get Lilia's ears pierced. With Lilia, nothing like went wrong necessarily, like with getting her ears pierced, but I've had a few different friends who like got their daughter's ears pierced and they just did not have a good experience and it got like infected or they did it wrong so yeah at this point I'm definitely thinking that we're not piercing her ears so that's pretty much it for her as for me um, I still have like my hernia my muscles are still torn all that people are a lot of people were asking me about surgery um, to get like that all all that fixed and I'm definitely planning on getting those things fixed I'm feeling great I, obviously I think I've mentioned this once or twice how happy I am to not be pregnant anymore and that still stands true the only thing with me postpartum that I can really think to update on at all was I mentioned this a little bit in my Christmas video but the day we celebrated our Christmas I ended up in urgent care all day long I actually woke up in the middle of the night the night before and I had like a fever and chills and I was like literally shaking non-stop shaking and I took my temperature I was 102 degrees and it was so out of nowhere completely out of nowhere and Previously, the previous day, I had felt a little bit sore, like my breast had felt a little bit sore, but I didn't think anything of it. When you're breastfeeding, sometimes your boobs hurt, and that's just part of life. And so when I had the fever and the chills, I was noticing that my right breast was still hurting and so the first thing that came to mind for me was mastitis which is an infection of the breast tissue and it happens pretty i mean it's pretty common however i have never ever ever had it before so i've had clogged ducts before which is a little bit similar except mastitis is an actual infection anyway that night i had woken up and i had 102 degree fever and then the next day i took a shower and when i got out of the shower i looked in the mirror and my right breast was covered in I don't even know how to explain it. My right breast was just extremely red and there was like red splotches all over it, and there was like red lines running on it. It was really weird looking and I was like, that's definitely not normal. So I texted my midwife and I was like, hey, so this is what's happening, what's going on. And she was like, sounds like you have mastitis. You need to go to urgent care and they'll get you some antibiotics. And it that's about it. It's nothing to be like too, too concerned about, but it's definitely something that you need to get like seen for. I went to urgent care, sure enough, they checked it out, I had mastitis, and they just prescribed me some antibiotics, and I've been taking those. The pain went away within two days, probably, the pain was gone, um, but it was extremely, extremely painful for that day to like nurse on that side, or to do anything on that side at all, just, it was sensitive to touch, it was just completely like, not fun. So other than that, I think that is pretty much it. Um, she is starting to get a little bit antsy here, I don't know if you can see her. <laughs> She thinks she wants to take a nap. And your hiccups are so cute. Her hair is just so extremely red. Every day, me and Chris wake up and it's like, we know that she has red hair. Like it's obvious, you can already tell that she has red hair. But every single day, we'll wake up and we'll see her hair and we'll just be like, oh my God, she has red hair. Oh my God, we still can't believe it. Ah! Yeah. I just can't wait till she gets more of it because she, she's starting to get some like on the side up here and it's starting to get pretty long in the back here, but she's still so bald on top that she looks like a little bald man. <laughs> That is pretty much it for our update. I guess I'll show you guys my six week postpartum belly. Here's with the shirt on. And then with the shirt up, I've been wearing my wrap. Sorry, I really need to take it off sooner because of all this redness. Here's with the shirt up. And my hernia is looking so much better because I've been wearing that wrap, but it's still definitely there. But that is it for this video, guys. Make sure you follow me on Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram so you can see more of this cute face and all my siblings, too. 
I'll have those links down below. And other than that, I will talk to you guys on Monday for our next video. Bye.